Hello. Okay. Good morning, gamers. Today we're gonna learn how to Python. Now, first of all, you need an IDE. Uh, an IDE stands for it an Integrated Development Environment. My IDE is Spider with a Y. So we'll be Spider. We'll be using Spider for the rest of the things. Okay. Now you can. Now the first program you can do is print brackets. And as you can see with Spider, you have this neat little feature. Whenever you put brackets, it automatically closes the brackets. But you uh, between the brackets, so you can just type in whatever you want. So right now, what this is, this quotation means like you can type anything in this. Hello world. And now, if we run program, and now friends, hello world. Now, you can also ask for inputs. So we can say input brackets. So when you run program, you can see this moving line right here. That means you can just type in whatever you want. And it will print hello world. Now to think about any coding programmer is that it goes downwards so to first ask for input then print hello world now in these brackets you can do the same as we did with print you can say like what's your name along with a question mark so then it will print what's your name now the thing is you need to add a space here otherwise it won't work properly so you can clearly you can use you can stop the program by pressing by pressing this button and with the erase button you can just move all the variables that you used we'll talk about that in further and in further into the video so now if we run, what's your name? Like, let's say, Josh. Now it prints, hello world. It asks for my, in it asks for input. It prints out hello world. Pretty much useless unless if your name is world. In case, hello world. So what we can do is, we can take like, a variables. You should probably learn this in sixth class. Like, let's say, house equals to the input that the user gives and what we can do here is we can remove the world first close the brackets and then you and then you add for example like house so the value value of house would be the what the user types so hello so what it will do what print will do is print hello along with what the meaning of house in this case house mean is the thing that the user types now if we run program it will ask what's your name did I just spell my name wrong and now it will print Hello, Josh. Now, at this point, you can basically make like any prog any text to uh, adventure text adventure game if you want. Now you can add these. This is like f how you use full stops in sentences, but this is how you use full stop in coding. Now that's why we always use quotations whenever we want to print like. A thing that doesn't have a value. Otherwise, it will just print ever, 
evolve and fall try to connect you now next thing if and elif first we'll talk about if now if can be anything yeah, I'll just remove that and put it in the 8 line so we can say if the value of house equals now remember you always have to put these equals otherwise it won't work and if you and if you want to put not equals you can always put explanation mark and then equals right now we'll just use this and whenever you're using in using input you always take any input whether it's a number num uh, a word it, this can be considered as a boolean whether this thing is true or false now we'll talk about integers or numbers in general further in further within the course video thing so if house equals to Josh now if we were to take this as integer input you won't need these brackets but then again you won't need letters you need numbers now we can run the program and it will say line 8 if house equals Josh now I forgot this this has to be important in some things and as you can see I'm still getting errors the thing is you know whenever you see like any bits of code they always like spaces like this if like this and then I you like see that you see you say oh they just press space a bunch of times but no that's not how we do it you see this tab button right here boom this is what we use and this should be gone now the problem is that it's 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 even giving us an arrow of what the problem is Does that work? Nope. Now at this point you can basically like look at any oh. Okay, fine, we understood. You can look at any bits of code and see what your problem is. Now instead of using this, we have to use this. Basic errors. That will ask what's your name. Now if your name is Josh otherwise and then it will say hello Josh hello with along with house now at this point you can add else now I'll just copy this bit here control X oh yeah I forgot to put these these are important and then control V that's how you do it right I can also look at example codes like this hmm that problem that's my intended block if it says indented block then you have to press tab now if now first we basically have to assign a thing to do here now if house equals to josh you can say print Glory 
to communism. Oh wait, I forgot to put it in. Things like these. Now it's all fine. That will ask why what's your name? If it's Josh, then it will say glory to communism. Now, if it's anything like, it will say hello, whatever your name is. Now say like, now let's say you want to add another statement. But it's not like if is and else are going to work. You need to combine them. Elif. Elif. Uh. Hmm. What can we do? House equals to. Hmm. Zero. Hello, Zero. Now actually type your name. <laughs> if it's Josh. Glory to communism. If it's this, let one run this, and now it will say hello, G O G. Now, an if statement will make sense as long as if the elif, as long as if if it ends with elif. Or else, you can add however much elif you want in this. Now, let's say if house equals to my best friend, that. Then we can say Now this is the part of the time that you learn about loops. Now whenever I say loops, just remember the loops cat. Okay? Now that you remember that, we can use while loops. While we can say a statement like three is greater than Actually, you should put these in brackets, otherwise, this won't work. Now, I can s now 3 is greater than 2, as you all know. So, if 3 is, does not great, is not greater to 2, then it will print then it won't execute this. Now you can say print no spam zone because as you know Adava basically spams every single s text server in the universe. Okay, now let's run the name the w the program now I can say wait crap we're editing the code whatever now it will say no spam zone no spam zone and you should try to stop the program before your computer eat overheats and that's how you and that's how you can now you can, at this point, you can basically save this. Now with the handy help of spider, you can actually save this as a program. Now I just open up my files. Now where is neck? Now there will be untitled 2, which is the program that you that we made. You can name it if you want. What the? Ah, 
Untitled Zero was actually the thing. Now this is useless. If you type in your name and if you press enter, we will immediately execute it and once it's over, it will finish. It will close itself. So the best thing is, you can ca control C and put it at the end of your statements like this. Which is why I just put these underneath. Otherwise, these will work about as much as a vodka cooled PC. Now you can save, open, go to the file where you basically saved this. Glory to communism. Now it will repeat this, which was the thing that I didn't intend to. So let's say if your name is Atterva. No, what the? This is not what we want. This is the amazing program. Ah, see this? We'll just remove the one for the Atteva because this will stop when Atteva closes it and when Atteva closes it it's his option <laughs> so now if we s now just save this go to snack it's the place where I save all my things Josh and you should I delete and you should buy have a better sense to not uh, basically control C control V everything or like me now Taiwa if you watch this if you're watching this do not spam the chat right now Okay, that's all we need to do and once you execute this uh, what's your name Josh you'll say glare to communism now if you say what's your name let's say if it's with now it'll say hello now if it's okay seems like my recording got messed up by a billion Okay, so this is the program that we made. If you run the program, you can save this if you want, if you're using Spider. What's your name? Josh. It will say Glory to Communism. Now if we run it again, first stop this, and run this again, if it's Atteva, then we'll say No Spam Zone. Now you can use a brick. So it will only print it once. Allow me to demonstrate. No spam zone. Once. But since this is Sadaiwa, we need to fight fire with fire. Now to fight fire with fire, we just repeat this. Because spam. Now if you are wondering, what is this input? Because when you actually run the file, run it and you saved it, and if you give it a name, if if you type this, it will just find glory to communism and close it as soon as the as soon as it finishes. Ah, oh, you can actually do this. Ah, oh. you can also have white mode for the mad lads, <laughs> and you can type anything and it will close. Proceed with finish. Okay, that's all for the Python tutorial see you in some other time